Hi everyone, in this video I am going to calculate various cases for S matrix of magic T junction. So various cases means what happens when input is applied at port 1, which port is acting as output port. What happens when input is applied at port 2 and port 3, something like that we are taking different different cases and observing the characteristics of this magic T. So for that all we need to do is first we need to consider the simplified S matrix from the magic T junction. So the magic T S matrix is the S matrix of magic T junction is One by root two, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, minus one, 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 zero, zero, one, minus one, zero, zero. This is the scattering matrix of magic T junction, which is a four by four matrix, which is a four by four matrix. Okay, because that 4 indicates the number of ports of the magic T. Now, we know that, we know that B is equal to S into A. In terms of matrix, we can write it as square brackets of B is equal to square matrix of S into square matrix of this A, square brackets of this A. So, how many ports that a magic T has? 4 ports. So, what is the size of B? It is 4 by 1. And again, it is A is also 4 by 1. So, B1, B2, B3, B4, that is equal to, what is S matrix? This one. 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 minus 1 1 1 0 0 and 1 minus 1 0 0 into 1 by root 2 this is the s matrix into a a is nothing but what is the size of uh, a here it is also 4 by 1 4 ports are there so 4 incident signals and as well as 4 reflected signals a1 a2 a3 a4, A represents incident wave and B represents the reflected wave. This is S matrix. Now, <coughs> write the equations for this B1, B2, B3 and B4 by multiplying the row of the S matrix and column of this A, A matrix. Okay, so that we will be having B1 is equal to <coughs> 1 by root 2 of a3 plus A4. B2 is equal to 1 by root 2 of A1 plus A2. And B3 is equal to 1 by root 2 of A1 plus A2. And B4 is equal to 1 by root 2 of A1 minus A2. Now, case 1, okay, input is given at, input is given at port 3 and no inputs at 1, 2 and 4 and no inputs at ports 1, 2 and 4. Then we can write it as input is at port 3 means A3 is existing value and whereas A1, A2, A4 are zeros because no input, no incident wave in, in those ports 1, 2 and 4. So if you substitute this assumption in these four equations B1, B2, B3, B4 then they are simply B1 is equal to A3 is not equal to 0 and the remaining are 0. So it is A3 by root 2. 
and b2 is equal to it is a1 equal to a2 equal to b2 is equal to a3 sorry b2 is 1 by root 2 plus a3 minus a4 it is a3 minus a4 a3 minus a4 okay go to the matrix it will be a3 minus a4 so now b2 is equal to again a3 by root 2 see one is positive another one is negative b1 is a3 plus a4 b2 is a3 minus a4 and similarly b3 is a1 plus a2 and b4 is a1 minus a2 <coughs> okay now b1 is equal to a3 by root 2 and b2 is equal to a3 by root 2 so and what about the remaining remaining as there is no a3 component we can simply say b3 is equal to b4 is equal to 0 okay so what is this when input is applied at when input is applied at third port which is nothing but h charm which is nothing but h charm so when input is applied at the third port h charm the power coming out from one and two ports equally but whereas there is no power from the three and four ports <coughs> okay so this is the property of h charm or h plane t junction this is the property of h plane t junction and similarly to observe the property of e plane t junction the same need to be applied with the port 4 okay so case 2 apply input at port 4 and no input at port 1 2 and 3 no input at port 1 2 and 3 and we can write it as a4 is a non zero value a1 a2 a3 are zeros so what are the values of b1 b2 b3 b4 b1 is equal to it is a3 and a4 it includes a3 and a4 a4 is there now so it is a4 by root 2 and b2 is equal to it is minus a4 by root 2 see the equations then you can understand and what about b3 is equal to 0 b4 is equal to 0 so we can say the input from port 4 is equally divided between 1 and 2 but out of phase 180 degrees out of phase so it satisfies e plane d junction so this is the property of e plane t junction this is the property of e plane t junction and similarly case 3 when input is given at port 1 input is given at port 1 and no inputs at port 2 and 3 and no inputs at 2 3 and 4 so we can say a1 is equal to a1 not equal to 0 and a2 equal to a3 equal to a4 equal to 0 so what about the value of b1 now b1 equal to 0 b2 equal to 0 because these two are depending on a3 and a4 and what about b3 it is a1 by root 2 and b4 is equal to minus a1 by root 2 so that means when input is applied at the first port and input is applied at first port which are the benefiting ports 3 and 4 but no output from port 2 no output from port 2 and similarly you can apply input at port 2 they in that case also you will get output from port 3 and 4 but you will not get output from the port 1 
okay that's why it is magic okay though ports 1 and port 2 port 1 and port 2 are collinear ports when input is applied at applied at port 1 will not come output from port 2 and vice versa okay so even though they are collinear ports one is opposite to another when input is applied at port 1 no power from port 3 port 2 and when input is applied at port 2 no output from port 1 okay that's why it is magic that's why it is magic okay because they are opposite to each other but no output is coming okay that's why it is magic t that is the exact name why it is magic t so port 1 and 2 we can say port 1 and 2 are isolated ports we can say we can say port 1 and port 2 are isolated ports port 1 and port 2 are isolated ports they are isolated from each other the no input is applied at one input is applied at port 1 no output from port 2 and similarly vice versa okay so similarly we can calculate like this we can calculate number of other cases also uh, let us see two more cases case 4 equal inputs given at port 3 and 4 equal inputs given at port 3 and port 4 that means a3 equal to a4 is equal to something like a and a1 is equal to a2 is equal to 0 no outputs then what about b1 b1 is equal to it is 2 into a by root 2 because it is in plus and b2 is equal to 0 b3 equal to b4 is equal to 0 because they are depending on a1 and a2 now what we can say when input is applied at port 3 and port 4 equally the combined power is coming from port 1 and no other port is benefited okay from each and every case we need to conclude a statement whatever the case you have assumed okay that we need to be concluded okay this is called an additive property we can say it is called it is called an additive property okay what is that when input is applied at port 3 and port 4 the sum is coming from port 1 the sum is coming from port 1 this is the proof okay and remaining ports are not benefited not benefited means they will not get even a single wave wave component from any of these ports okay and similarly we can say case 5 okay last case equal inputs applied at port 1 and 2 equal inputs in this uh, five cases i have taken different different cases to satisfy the properties of e plane d junction h plane d junction and as well as the properties of magic d junction okay in such way i have selected you can go for any number of cases that is of your wish okay equal inputs given at port 1 and port 2 then a1 is equal to a2 is equal to a a3 is equal to a4 is equal to 0 then what about b1 b1 is depending on a3 a4 is a 0 b2 is depending on a3 a4 0 b3 is equal to it is a combination so it is a addition 2 into a by root 2 
and B4 is equal to 0. So when inputs are applied at port 1 and 2, which port is benefited? Port 3 is benefited. No other port is no other port is benefited. Okay. It is also an additive property. It is also called additive property. <coughs> It is also called additive property. Okay. So, in this way, we can go for any number of cases depending on of user interest. Okay. Thank you. These are the case studies of the uh, S matrix of the magic T junction. Thank you.